today we're going to be talking about flashlights which flashlights good for recording it's not just for the uh, pocket 3 but i'll use a pocket 3 as an example to record it but this is for any camera it could be your iphone or whatever and this is about if you're in a situation where there's not enough ambient lighting and you need to supplement that which kind of light is good for that so there's different type of flashlights the way it projects the lead you have the traditional which most people are familiar with it's reflector base so the worst one reflector creates a a hot spot and then a ring of low spot this is kind of good for trails actually because it throws the middle down the trail while the corona or the outside ring which has a lower lumens illuminate the surrounding area less so you don't get like a super bright where it's close and then you can't see farther but it makes for horrible filming and if you're really like jumpy with a your control of the flashlight it will make the viewer dizzy absolutely the worst don't get a reflector unless you diffuse that there are ways this one is a carclo based one and i do have one that's it's not this specific one but i do have one that's a diffuser more floody type there's different types of carclo this projects each this ford lead on this and then projects it out once you get it, it's a smooth, so there's no extra corona around it, but you get a smooth, fairly even, depending on which optic you get. And this one offers a better light source to supplement. Um, you definitely can make this more floody. Think about scotch tape. If you get scotch tape that has an opaque finish, you can actually just put it on. That will diffuse it even more, give you a nice even lighting that spreads around so that your video image looks even. Now this one's the best one, best type. So this one's lens base, Carclo optic, and this is aspheric style, glass dome, cons heavy is glass, right? So this is plastic, so it's like super light, much lighter. But now it kind of looks like it's magnifying. What this does is that it just projects out almost like you see kind of like HID car lights or project out a the LED light and what that will give you is a very wide and very even. So you can see it cuts off also very well. You see the cutoff point. So this gives you a very wide and evenly illuminated area. So this one offers the best and usually they're focusable. Be focused down to throw it out, but obviously you want it as wide as possible. When you're doing a film and then so you don't have to be as careful obviously you should be somewhat careful your video image will look very even this one is the best aspheric then i'll show you some samples from all three and you can see the difference obviously this applies not only to the pocket three this applies to any video camera out there 4k 24 frames per second low light mode out in the dark as you can see it's dark it's actually darker than what the screen shows. Here's a reflector, flashlight. And you can see why it's not the best type of video light for supplementation. You got the hot spot and the spill. It's kind of good for a narrow trail path and then you can just see down the, pa the path while illuminating the ground side, but uh, for a video, it looks like crap. Correct? Okay. Next up to bat, MSR D4K. Most importantly, it has a diffused Carclo optic. Let's check how this does for a light. 4K, 24 frames per second of light. Okay, how does that look? As a supplementary lighting. Is that the brightest? That's the brightest. Diffused. Not, let's see, a little bit narrower than the focal length of this camera. So it could be wider. Let's see if I switch that to the Osram. Yeah, that's too narrow. I admit that is too narrow, I think. It's a red. Nah. Okay, so you go down the, let's go down, is it going to compensate for the, is 
not at the brightest, but it's definitely compensating. Probably the shutter speed is getting slower. How about this for a video light? Not bad. I mean, it's mostly because, yeah, diffused. Diffuse is okay. It's a little bit hot spot in the middle. At the end, third contender, which I think is going to be the best, is the Jaxman Z1 with aspheric lens. And this represents any flashlight that's aspheric lens. Let's go into the darkness. Oops. I think, oops. How does that look? Look at that cutoff point. But man, is it white? Mm, not as. It's about the same as a diffused Carclo. Let's see, the flood one. Oh, not quite synced. So, see, if I go right, because there's a little bit of lag inside the gimbal. How does that look? That's the lowest mode. It can run forever. Medium. This gives you more of a idea. So, much like a like a Broadway spotlight you would have shining on someone, makes for a nice even image. What do you think? Put it on the brightest. Let's give it full beans. Cons, aspheric lens, heavy, and uh, it might not throw towards farther off, but um, yeah, I think you would agree that this is a very even lighting, so this makes a nice supplementary lighting source if you're going to do video, because you know what, you can't be in... Even with a low light monster like this, a beast like this, I'm pointing at here. And you know when I'm pointing here, it's super dark, it's gonna be super soft. Even just the lowest of light helps a lot. What do you think? Aspheric is definitely the best. Very good. Just walk around a little bit. They get, get eaten by mosquitoes out here and ants. Light off. Ooh, look at the software software boosting it. It is really dark out here. Yeah, makes a difference. And the brightest. How about that? I wish this was a little bit wider. Maybe you can digitally crop in a little bit with this 4K. What do you think? You know what? Can I switch the gimbal to faster? Yes, I can, on the fly. Rotational speed of the gimbal, let's center it. Let's see if it can, ooh. It's, uh, yeah, it is faster, but still not direct connection. <laughs> but yeah. Nice footage. I would run it in medium. So let me pixel peep this this footage. And see how it turns out too. Damn. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah.